Hi everyone, welcome back to my next quote to live your life by. Today we have uh, a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson and we're going to continue with our theme of um, being determined to live a life you're proud of. That you will look back over the last 20 years and not be disappointed. That you will take some risks. You'll, you'll pull hard against the current that wants to pull you back into conformity and boredom and monotony and nothingness, a life that you're ashamed of. And so we're going to continue with this quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I think it's a promise that most of us find that if we will take the risk of, of coming up hard against our comfort zone and doing a little more than going a little further and doing a little more than we're comfortable with, that I think you will be rewarded. This, this quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, I think, really points that out. He said, When a resolute young fellow steps up to the great bully, the world, and takes him boldly by the beard, he is often surprised to find it comes off in his hand, and it was only tied on to scare away the timid adventurers. And I think that's what you'll find if you are determined uh, to take a risk and to go a little further than you think you can, to push harder up against your comfort zone, and, and that there might be a chance that you'll fall, and that you'll get out of your rut, which is, what's the difference between a, cough, a coffin and a rut? Virtually nothing, almost nothing. So you are determined to get out of the rut of your life, of the monotony and the boredom, that you are not going to live a life that you're ashamed of. You're going to be proud of the life you've lived. So. He says, when a resolute young fellow goes up to the bully of life, and you have to understand that life is a bully. There is that current of conformity that's always pulling you back, grabbing you and pulling you back. You have to fight against it all the time. It wants to pull you back and make you a cog in a machine, an automaton, a drone in the hive who does nothing but sacrifices itself to make a few men rich. That's what your life has been. The hopefully you're going to have as much uh, a good life as you can while you're making them rich. Uh, we hope so, but if not, that's too bad. It's the getting society rich that counts, not you as the drone, as a cog in a machine. All we want to do is keep you well fed and well oiled so you'll just stay right there. Cog in the machine over and over. This is your life, this cog in the machine. But you have to be determined to pull yourself out of it. And if you will, if you'll go hard up against your comfort zone, scramble hard up the, up the walls of your rut of, and the coffin of your life, and you will grab the bully, and the world is a bully. Society is a bully doing everything it can to keep you down. If you'll grab the beard of the bully, you'll find off it comes right off. It's, it's the mighty Oz behind the curtain. There's nothing there. It's all wind. And that you really can live the life that you are proud of and that you can live the life of your dreams. You can live the life of setting your sails and exploring and dreaming and discovering. But you got to make that first risk. You got to take that risk, and it is a risk. You got to stand up to the world, to conformity, and grab it and say, I'm living my life, and you won't stop me. And you will almost inevitably find that there's powerless to stop you, and you can. Um, now again, everybody's circumstances are different, and I'm not saying that everyone can. I'm saying that you must push up boldly against the limitations that you have set for yourself, and that because society told you to set those limitations. We build our own prisons. We build, we dig our own ruts and gladly jump in them. We do. I'm sad to say I did it. I know. I've been there just like you and anyone else. It's a scramble to get out of the rut that keeps collapsing underneath you. It's not easy. It's hard. Uh, it's risky. It appears to be impossible. The bully is impossible to beat. I'm, I'm afraid of him. But if you'll grab him, grab that beard and pull on it, you'll find it was a mask. It was a bully's mask and that there's just error behind it and that you really can live a lot more free than you thought, but it's a risk and it's a chance and you got to find out for yourself. And again, it's not all or nothing. 
it's today pushing as hard as you can against the bully and fighting him to the greatest degree you can today. Uh, if that's all or just a little, it's determining today to be proud of the way you've lived and that you have done all that you possibly can to live the best life you can. And if you'll do that, you'll get where you want to go. I believe that with all my heart. I believe the bully is mostly air, hot air. But you have to find out for yourself. I can't, my words telling you are nothing. You have to pull his beard and find out for yourself. So folks, I hope you got something out of this. You've been inspired. You'll take these words to your heart. You'll start looking at your life. Am I disappointed with the life I've lived in the last year, in the last month, in the last week? Am I proud of my life? And if I am not proud of my life, am I willing to start over? Am I willing to push up today against the limits of my comfort zone? To look the bully in the eye, row hard against the current, and break free of the prison that I've made and that I'm the warden of. It's your choice. I hope, I hope you'll do it to whatever degree today that you can. And if you do, if you, to the greatest degree you can, you will make these efforts and do these things. Then you can be proud of the life you've lived. I hope you'll do that. If you got anything out of this video, video folks, I hope you'll like us on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and I'll talk to you on the next quote to live your life by.